Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Flow of Consciousness YouTube channel. Today it's a absolutely fantastic, beautiful day. So I wish you too are having a beautiful day. Springtime, spring energy, new beginnings. I just love the vibe of the changing seasons, hearing the birds. It's, it just has such a beautiful charm. And I just finished a conversation with a great friend of mine. He's a fantastic guy. And the topic that we were talking about kind of was intuition and how I believe that it is a crucial energy channel, a crucial information channel that we need to learn to tap into, that we need to learn to cultivate because everybody tries to diminish, tries to diminish, tries to play down the value that intuition actually serves in our lives. And whenever you need to make an important decision, whenever you find yourself in a certain situation, a certain situation that requires a decision that will cause your life path to diverge, to take a new route, right? Important changes. Sometimes even small changes, but mostly it's the important ones. You're currently in a relationship and you don't know whether you should end it or not. You're currently thinking of quitting your job and you don't know whether you should do it or not. You're currently doubting to move to a certain city and you don't know if you will be able to make it or if it actually makes sense for you to do that. In these types of situations, you know what's right. You know it. You know it. When you tune into yourself, there is this gut feeling, this subtle sensation. And it usually is there prior to us rationalizing. So when you ask yourself the question on the topic that you're currently having difficulties with making a decision, right? Let's take the example of whether you should end a relationship you're in or not. Ask yourself this question. Should I end the relationship, yes or no? And be very, very still. Sit still with it. Be in a meditative state. Pay attention. And the instinctual sensation that comes up right before you start to think, well, Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. He or she is such a good person. We have built so much together. They will get hurt if I decide to leave them or they will think I am whatever, a crazy person if I decide to stay. Whatever the thoughts that are popping into your mind, right before they arrive, right before that moment, there is this instinctual small signal and you gotta learn to pick up on that because this signal is going to tell you the exact answer to your question. And life favors the bold. That's exactly what I told him. Life favors the bold. And what does that mean? The answer to your question that your intuition tells you, the answer that your intuition proposes is usually the hardest. It's usually the most difficult. It's usually the most scary. But deep down you know this is the one decision you need to make. Deep down you know you need to quit your job or you need to leave that relationship or you need to mend things with your family members or whatever it is that you're currently struggling with. Deep down you know the right answer. Deep down you know the right course of action. But it's usually fear that's holding us back. And once you commit to making the decision that your intuition tells you to make, once you act courageously, once you act with courage, once you choose to be brave, life will reward you. And it might at first seem like your life is falling apart or it might at first seem like you're being punished for your decision. But just know that this is a test to see whether you truly truly committed to honoring your intuition or not. Your intuition, you can't mess with it. Once you make the decision 
that your intuition guides you towards. It will see, it will test whether you really mean it, whether you really commit to that specific particular decision. And it will throw so many curveballs at you and you will have to overcome each and every one of them. But in these difficult phases, in these difficult challenges, you will learn the lessons. If you approach these situations with a growth mindset, if you approach whatever life is throwing at you with the attitude that within this difficult time there is a hidden lesson, something that I can extract out of this for myself to grow into a more mature, more aware, more self-developed person, a more complete version of yourself, right? It's in these situations that the lessons are hidden and it's here where the real value is. And life will reward you for it. I promise you, life will reward you for it. Even though it might really, really, really feel like you made the wrong decision initially. Tune back in and listen again. Listen again. Is this challenging situation proving me that I made the wrong decision? Or is it just a way for you to show your strength, to show your courage, to show how brave you are, to show how resilient you are, to show how authentic you are? Is this just a challenge to prove to life that you truly commit to your decision? Or is it proof that you made the wrong decision? And I can almost assure you, I can almost guarantee you that if you made the decision that is honoring your intuition, it will most likely just be a test. It will most likely just be a way for life to see if you actually committed to your choices. Now, if you picked the other decision, which was one that is rooted in fear, which was one that is trying to keep you from choosing the thing that you know you should do. If it's the one that you choose because you're afraid of what might happen when you actually honor your intuition, life will continuously present you with similar situations until you honor your intuition, until you make the decision you know you need to make. And that's the beauty of it. So the sooner you can tap into your intuition, the sooner you can overcome the fear, the sooner you can start to believe that life will reward you for making the bold moves, for making the bold decisions, for being brave, for overcoming your fears, even though it might be so goddamn scary. When you start to believe that, you will reach levels of resourcefulness and personal empowerment like you've never knew you would ever be able to. Like you've never known before was even possible for you to feel like that. To feel this sense of empowerment, to feel this sense of strength, of courage. So I would like to invite you if you are at a place and time in your life where you need to make a crucial decision that will decide a big part of your upcoming future, I want to invite you to go into a still place. Take some time to really calm down. Pay attention to your breath to the surroundings, maybe nature works for you, maybe your living room, maybe even your bedroom. I don't care which place, just make sure it's a place where you feel comfortable and peaceful and at ease. And settle in to your breath, settle into the environment, listen to the sounds. Once you give yourself enough time to do just that, Ask yourself the question you need to ask yourself. Should I 
leave this relationship? Should I quit the job that I'm currently stuck in? And notice what your intuition tells you. And I don't mean that if the answer pops up, you immediately should take action on that. You immediately should get up and call your boss to say, it's over, I'm quitting or tell your partner, I'm finished, I'm done, we're breaking up. No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that once you pick up on the signal, make it stronger, honor it, take the necessary steps for you to be able to make the decision, right? For me personally, I knew I needed to start this YouTube channel. I knew it intuitively, it kept coming back. Life kept presenting me with situations where I needed to make the decision between starting this YouTube channel or continuing what I was doing. And finally, I decided to do it. Finally, I decided to overcome the fear and to really commit to this project. And life has rewarded me in so many ways, indirect ways, challenges, difficult situations, you name it. And it's going to continue to do so. Trust me, I know it and I'm prepared for it. And I prepared myself to be able to do this. I was saving up a lot of money. I was doing a lot of research. I didn't just jump into doing this. I prepared myself. So prepare yourself, but know that you are going to make the decision because you actually already made it. That's the beauty of it. You already made it. You just don't know it yet. You're just too afraid still to admit it. And that's okay, that's 100% okay. I didn't feel capable of making the decision myself for a long time. It took me, I don't know, five years maybe, four or five years. And now I feel that yes, this was exactly the right decision. And life will continue to challenge me, but it will also continue to reward me. And it will continue to reward you too. And it will start to reward you the moment you make the decision to honor your intuition. So I invite you to reconsider the value of intuition in your life and to honor it. Do not dismiss it. Do not stuff it down somewhere. Do not deny it. I would want to invite you to explore it for yourself, to take it seriously, to engage with it, to listen. So tune into yourself, tune in with yourself. And be amazed by how life will reward you. Thank you for watching.